Hi, and welcome to the Equipment Corner. I'm Uncle Ken. All right, picture yourself driving down the road. You have an opportunity to create some roadkill for yourself, or you see some roadkill created by someone else. Well, you want to have it, don't you? What are you going to scoop it up with? Well, you got a couple of things you can try. First off, what might be readily available on the side of the road, a stick. Now, the stick is OK. It'll scrape your roadkill up, but it's not going to scrape it up evenly. And your roadkill's not going to cook evenly in the oven because of it, all right? So we may not recommend a stick. Next thing, you got this piece of slate, nice and flat. Scoops up the roadkill nice and evenly, cooks evenly in your oven, but not real practical to have with you while you're traveling, all right? Next thing, this flat shovel. Nice handle for gripping, right? Nice flat surface for scraping your roadkill up off the street. Scrapes it up nice and evenly, nice and light and weight, easy to carry in your truck, all right? So the thing we recommend for scooping up roadkill, the flat shovel, all right? This little tip comes to you from Uncle Ken's Country Cooking. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. I think I see some roadkill over here. All right, come on. Now, what I want you looking at, it's kind of ugly. You guys might like it, but the ladies watching the show could be a little grossed out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks good. It looks good. Hold on. Wait. Yeah, this one's only been here for like maybe a day or two. It should be okay, I think. We'll take it in the kitchen, pop it in the pot, and start boiling it. I think it'll be good. Let's go. All right, we got the roadkill over here. Check it out. Look what we called from that sucker. Great, some nice meat, some guts, and lots of fat for flavor. Real good stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spark up the stove here, right? Going to get that all boiling up good, and I'm going to take me this knife here right over here. I'm just going to scrape this stuff right in the pot. Oh, yeah. That's going to make for some good eating. I'm telling you. Oh, what was that noise? Oh, look at this. Can you believe it? Appetizer. Woo, appetizer. Oh, man, that's good stuff. Well, all right, listen, what we're going to do now, we got ourselves a nice mouse here. All right, dang. Oh, dang, it got me again. We got a nice ourselves a nice mouse. This is going to make for some great appetizer. We're going to show you how to prepare that mouse up. Mouse tartare. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good. We'll check out that segment right after these messages. Lots of good eating flying around in the sky. All you got to do is get yourself a rifle and shoot it. Free food. Can't beat that, can you? I think I see something now. Oh, there's something. Oh, damn. A bald eagle. Warden ain't gonna like that one. We'll just tuck him under there. There's gotta be something else flying around. I see something else. Oh, there it is. No, oh, I've never seen one of these suckers before. <laughs> He's going to get some good eating, my way. Now, look, you got to take your mouse here. Look at his belly. Slice his belly a little bit, okay? That's good, okay? Now, wait a second. If I get his back on. What's real important now, wait, wait, go on. I want to show you this. It's real important, okay? Is you got to peel the membrane off the back, okay? The membrane's real important. Sometimes, some people don't like it. I particularly do. Okay? Then what you want to do, mm, oh, that's good mouse skin, I tell you. And just get the rest of it all. And there you go. A beauty of an appetizer. You put it right down there. You add a little cheese, something like that. Oh, that's good stuff. Good mouse. Now, listen, I got one last thing. It's great on appetizers, okay? Oh, yeah, look at this stuff. Sure, some people call them common house flies. I call them sprinkles. Oh, boy, that's good. You sprinkle that stuff on top of your appetizer. Oh, 
out of this world, I'm telling you, out of this world. Let me show you, there's a technique to getting these sprinkles off, okay? What you got to do is really look at them right, right there. And just pull them off one by one. And once you get them, oh yeah, you know, they even make good eating on their own. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, let's go in here now. I'm just going to hang this over here. Thanks. When I, when I just... I got enough here really just to, you know, you don't want to use them all up, okay? Now that's a real nice presentation, I think. Look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Right. Now, you know, these things, you know, they're on fly paper. Fly paper's real sticky, which is good because you get your flies, you get your sprinkles. But it does make it a little hard to get them off the tongs, you know what I'm saying? But that's okay. It's all part of the challenge. Now look, now I got, see I got my big piece of cheese. I got my little fly. Look, that sucker's still moving. Oh man, that's like sushi. Woo! That's good. All right. Okay. So we got him moving there. Mmm, that's good. So I got my big piece of cheese and I got sprinkles there. And I got my other piece here. Now you notice how I proportioned them out evenly, the little ones? Got the one and the big thing's got the two sprinkles. Well, that's all about presentation. Makes it good. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Mm. 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 Oh, that's going to be some good stuff. I simmered it now for about 10 minutes, okay? The one thing you want to do after that roadkill simmers a little bit, might as well add this crazy bird I shot. <laughs> Should taste real decent. Don't know what it is. Let's try it out. In you go. <laughs> oh yeah, that's gonna be nice. I've transferred my roadkill stew to a more manageable pot so that I can pour it and give you a nice real show here, okay? All right, look at that. Mmm. I mean, look at the color of that bird added to the stew. Real good stuff. All right, here we go. Just pour a little bit of that in there. You want to make sure you get a lot of good fixings. Mm, yeah, look at that. I think that's like a liver or something. I don't know what it is. All right, look at this. Oh, look, there's a big hunk of muscle. Get that in there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let's get some broth. Oh, woo! I am just watering at the mouth. Just looking at this. I can't wait to sit down. All right. Mm. Let's take this. Let me get myself a spoon. Mm -mm. Look at that. Roadkill stew. Check it out. Just give it a little look-see. More appetizing. And my little mouse tartar with sprinkles. <laughs> Ken's Country Cooking has done it again. Come on in. Let's go sit down. Oh, man. This is my favorite part of the show, the eating part. <laughs> well, let's see. Roadkill stew. Mm. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. I love it. Woo! Mm. And this mouse tartare with the sprinkles. Sprinkle was still alive, that one. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, I'll hold off on the sprinkle for a minute. Just have the tartare. <clears throat> Another good reason to set mouse traps in your house. Don't let nothing go to waste. Mm -mm. Good eating, good fun. You know, there's nothing better than sitting down to a fine recipe from Uncle Ken's Country Kitchen and reading a lovely paper. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show. Uncle Ken's Country Kitchen to your kitchen. We'll see you next time.